The Lord be with you. And also with you. Listen to the gospel of the Lord Jesus according to St. Matthew, chapter 21, verses to begin at 23. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When he entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven or was it of human origin? And they argued with one another, if we say from heaven, he will say to us, why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd, for all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we do not know. And he said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second and said the same. And he answered, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Let us pray. A loving and heavenly Father, we sit seeking for your word. Lord, speak to us. Help us to take your word in and be your witnesses. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May the good Lord bless you and keep you in all goodness and peace. Amen. I would like to place two questions before us from the Gospel readings for, for our meditation. Why did Jesus not answer the temple leaders about authority? And the second question is, what significance does the parable of two sons have to do with authority? If we read the whole chapter, Matthew 21, we can find some events that took place before this. And as a sequence of all these events, we find this situation where the temple leaders come to Jesus and question him about his authority. First, we see Jesus entering into, the, into Jerusalem, what we popularly call as the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, where Jesus was hailed by the crowd as the king and Messiah. Then he entered into the temple and he overturned the tables giving a picture that the temple is under his control, which challenged the power and authority of the local leaders, which in turn led them to ask Jesus, question Jesus, by whose authority are you doing all these things? Interestingly, uh, the scribes and the temple leaders are not uh, linked to this, but the disciples 
also had an opportunity to witness before this event, Jesus, when he spoke to the fig tree, it got withered the same day. So the disciples also got to witness the authority of Jesus over nature. So not only the temple leaders and the local leaders were interested to question or ask about the authority of Jesus, even the gospel writer himself places all this in a sequence that he also wants to know or wants to tell the world what authority Jesus actually had or has. But what happens next is something different. Jesus, what response did he give to those scribes and Pharisees and the priests who came to him? He simply did not answer neither yes nor a no. He asked them in return questions back again and making them to confuse. And he simply diverted that issue from the point from the topic authority to another theme by narrating the parable of two sons. The another theme is the willingness to do the will of God. So he makes a shift from, from discussing about authority towards willingness to do the will of God. And here we find the parable of two sons. In the parable of two sons, two sons the elders, elderly, uh, the first son said, I will not do this. But later, he thought about it, and he went on to do what his father asked him to do. The second son said affirm affirmatively, yes, I'm going to do that. Instead, he didn't do what he was asked to do. So the parable of two sons, or the story of two sons, is not something new here. It happens throughout the scripture. We see two sons, Cain and Abel, or Cain and Abel. And then Jacob and Esau, Joseph and his brothers, David and his brothers. In all these stories, if we try to think and analyze, analyze then we can find there is authority, there is power, and there is politics in these stories. So this story, what parable, what Jesus also narrates here, also has got something to do with authority, because there Jesus was asked about authority, and he began to narrate this parable of two sons. But simply that Jesus did not mention about authority, he just deviated from authority by saying this parable. And here we see clearly that there is a mention of willingness to do the will of the Father. So Jesus was shifting the focus from authority to willingness to will of God simply because Jesus was not interested in authority at all. So when we read the epistle reading for today, Philippians, there we see Jesus, he rejected being authoritative or he rejected himself being equal to God he did not want to take the power of God. He did not want to take the authority of the Father. Instead, he humbles him himself or he empties himself to do the will of God. He emptied himself to submit himself to do the will of God in such a way until the death on the cross. So Jesus' focus was not on authority, whereas the scribes were wanting to know if Jesus did it with some authority, he can be plotted so that he can be, he could be crucified. Some of the disciples of Jesus Christ also wanted to know Jesus' authority because some of them, maybe Judas Iscariot, he wanted Jesus to be a king, to exercise his authority on the whole of Israel-Palestine region. But Jesus, he was not interested on authority, in authority at all. He was not interested in power. He was not interested in assuming power. Rather, he was always focused on doing the will of God, which is very important for us to think about in today's world and context. What take place in the world even today, 
simply because we are chasing after power, we are chasing after authority. And as Christians, we are called not to go after authority, but to be, to do the will of God, submitting ourselves to the will of God. If we look the history, if the church had not participated in the power plays and authoritative roles, which we sometimes regret that it shouldn't have happened, and the church would have been in a different position today, doing only the will of God on earth. Then when we come to the Old Testament reading, like last week we heard there was a food crisis and today's reading there was a water crisis. And the Israelites began to complain about water and food which are the essentials of human survival. So their complaining is nothing wrong about. And here we see the will of God was to save them from the clutches of slavery and to provide them life, a new life. God wants us to be saved, or we have a God who saves us and who keeps us in life and who sustains our life by providing life essentials to us. So let us submit ourselves to God to do the will of God so that in all that we engage in, despite challenges, like the Israelites had the challenges, God is there to provide us our needs. Just we are called to submit ourselves to do the will of God. May we submit ourselves to do the will of God and not going after power or authority. Amen. Shall we keep a moment of silence and ponder upon the words that we just heard?